Mumbai, India's biggest city, features a mix of slums and luxury skyscrapers, often in close proximity. Space is at a premium in the metropolis. Every day, huge numbers of people commute into the city. As many as 50% of the inhabitants may carry the tuberculosis bacterium. TB thrives in overcrowded cities with high rates of poverty. Kishore Karwa has come down with the disease. Not everyone who carries the germ contracts the illness. Much depends on the conditions in which people live. Of course, the poverty matters. The poverty, the malnourishment over here, and it's an airborne disease. And so when anybody who's having tuberculosis in the body, if he comes out and the opposite person get, get easily, our trains, our transport system in our India, everywhere, everything is crowded over here. And that is why the spread is faster. 18 million people are on the go in Mumbai every day. So it's easy for the germ to spread. Residents of the city realize they're at risk, but there's nothing they can do about it. How are we supposed to know if a person is sick? We're in close contact. We interact with other commuters. Their germs can infect us, and we have no chance whatsoever to protect ourselves. Mumbai's climate and poor sanitation encourage the spread of the disease. There are more than 30,000 new cases of tuberculosis in the city every year. Kishore Karwa has been an invalid since coming down with the disease. He and his family live in a cramped slum. India may be booming economically, but the illness has driven the Karwas further into poverty. It's threatening to tear the family apart. In the Nair hospital, we had a horrible experience. Four times they collected blood, month after month. Still, the cold shivers and fever could not be treated. They just gave us pills. But the symptoms remained. No treatment worked. Then we came to the Dahisar clinic. Thereafter, the chills and fever were under control. Residents of Mumbai get free antibiotics to treat the disease. But the treatment is time-consuming and requires six months of medical supervision. That's an eternity when money is tight. I have to go to the municipal hospital every day to get medicine. It's almost two kilometers to walk there. If I have to go to the toilet on the way, this is a big problem. Where do I go? A girl in my neighborhood sent me to another clinic in Saibaba Nagar. They said they'll give me medicine, but only for one day. Many tuberculosis sufferers break off the treatments. That, say doctors in Mumbai, has resulted in increasing cases of tuberculosis that are resistant to antibiotics. It's a vicious circle. When you are not taking the treatment properly, when you are not adherent to the treatment, it changes into a MDRT. Then the treatment becomes, then the cure rate drops. The cure rate in a sensitive patient is very high, more than 95 percent. But in MDR, the cure rate down, it comes up to 70 or 80 percent. And when it goes into pre-XDR or MDR, then again the cure rate drops. So the initial stages only, it should be stopped. Kishore Karwa is continuing to get treated. Nonetheless, Mumbai, the city that embodies the hopes of so many Indians, has become a trap for some unfortunate people. The battle against tuberculosis is a battle against poverty, and it will be won or lost in the megacities of the 21st century.